Hello drawers, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a bottle with cross contour lines. Just so you know what my bottle looks like, here it is. Pay attention to the lip of my bottle. It opens up at the top, there's thickness to it. Many of you are not drawing that in in your bottle. Based on where I'm sitting, my initial ellipse is more of an oval. When I look at many of your drawings, I don't see any evidence of those loose ovals or shapes. You really need to establish those lines loosely at first. Then I draw a line right through the middle, straight up. By now you should have an understanding of your basic forms. And I know if I was to look at my bottle, it's a cylinder with a cone stacked on top with another small cylinder at the top. Okay, because my bottle here was manufactured, I know that it's symmetrical all the way through. Take a look at how light I'm drawing my initial marks. As I mentioned to many of you already, you have to learn how to break all these objects into basic forms, okay? So here's a cylinder with my cone right through the middle and then another smaller cylinder stacked on top. Once again, I'm loosely drawing my initial marks. Many of you aren't doing that. Then I know that the opening to my bottle is slightly smaller. I also know that because there's a thickness to the mouth of my bottle, there's going to be a subtle overhang at the top. Once I've established my basic forms for my bottle, I'm going to go back in and restate the lines that I want. Feel free to orientate your paper in a position that's comfortable for you to make your marks. I know that in many of my demos, I try to keep my paper right side up just to make it easier for you to follow, but I know it's uncomfortable for me when I'm doing that as well. So make sure you're orientating your paper. Just a reminder, your lips should be nice and round on the outside. It should not be pinched. Going back in, restating the lines for the opening in the mouth. The lip on my bottle overhangs the neck. If you look very carefully on my bottle, the mouth actually has some pretty sharp or defined corners or edges. So using some weighted lines, I actually went in there to indicate where those edges are. Once I've established my lines, I'm going to go in and erase or remove the unwanted marks. Pay attention now.
you want to put a little cast shadow on your bottle here, you can. Just don't shade. So now because I know that my bottle here was manufactured and it's symmetrical, I'm going to draw a line straight through the middle to begin my cross contour lines. Remember, cross contour lines are these imaginary lines that wrap around a form. If you can train your eyes to see these lines, it just makes it easier to shade it later on. Then what I do is I create a couple little marks at the bottom of my bottle. Okay. Then I go all the way to the top, create a couple marks at the top as well to let me know where all my lines should meet. Notice how my bottle narrows at the shoulder and at the neck. So as I move my dots towards the top of my points up there, it should get pinched as well. Then now, it's a matter of connecting the dots. Every mark that I've made at the bottom of my bottle is going to connect with the top mark. Pay attention to the contour of my bottle. You see how my shoulder starts to taper up or narrows up at the top. My cross contour lines on the inside need to follow that same contour. Think back to your cylinders and notice how the cross contour lines, the vertical lines that move towards the outside, see how they look like they're getting pinched. That's what you want to do as well. Now I'm going to introduce the cross and cross contour. Remember, we're really combining these ellipses along with cross contour lines, everything we've kind of been doing the last couple of weeks. When I'm creating these cross contour lines around my bottle, I'm being mindful of those parallel lines. I'm being careful and mindful of the ellipses that are traveling across the surface of my bottle. Once I've established all my initial marks, I'm gonna go back in, restate the lines that I want, and eventually I'll erase the marks that I don't need. And there you go. That is my bottle with cross contour lines in it. Good luck. I look forward to seeing your work.